Kikao Kiku is a critical forum that provides an opportunity for strategic discussions on emerging issues and challenges we face in the rapidly evolving digital era. As a Nyandoa county, we are also leveraging on ICT for social economic empowerment of our county. We would like to support our young people to leverage on technology, on Ajira programs, and so that they can be able to command the 21st century. In this region, most of the schools are towards the southern part of Nyandarwa. This is a project that we are really committed to scaling up because, as you know, Nyandarwa is very expansive. And uh, this is where we are here today, that we can have a conversation about how we can partner for progress. Because we do recognize that as the authority, we can only do so much. But when the authority and the county come together, realize the value that we bring together by synergizing, then we really come to the point where we say, Pamoja, as the industry regulator, the Communications Authority of Kenya, CA, plays a critical role in ICT development. They undertake this role through facilitating access to ICT services and ensuring that the local industry is on the same wavelength with the latest global standards. We also uh, recognize that aside from agriculture, that development plan really looks to deepen and diversify your channels of productivity and uh, one of the areas that's really coming up is the creative economy where your young people are actually now very significant on the YouTube economy. Today we are hosting this authority which is very very critical in the 21st century socio-economic development. You cannot do much without ICT whether you are talking about medicine or telemedicine, whether you are talking about agriculture conveying uh, digital messages to our farmers in back or in in singular, in TV and radio, which we are pleaded with the authority to support counties that are proactive to be able to have their communication systems, so that through TV and radio, to communicate with our farmers on the on the spot, uh, on today's events. If it's raining today, farmers should be able to know there will be frost. So take care of. We are an agricultural county and a food basket. So for us, we see ICT supporting uh, agriculture, supporting our health, supporting our infrastructure connecting it with the spatial, just spatial issues that we have developed in this county. So it is a very, very important uh, visit. We'll be looking at our cyber optic uh, cabling. We'll be looking at the entire communication framework in the county. That gives us the motivation to keep our minds constantly engaged in seeking solutions that will drive the sector to greater heights. The authority, in line with its mission, building a connected society through enabling regulations, partnership and innovation, has been undertaking various initiatives to achieve this, including bringing services closer to the people. We have automated our revenue collection. Uh, we have geospatial facility, back SMS system, the CCTV surveillance, ESTA management system, among others. Uh, and as I've said, we have improved our revenue collection by almost 29% since I came in, in power. In this county, we have a library in Okalao. We'll be soon installing the music system. The equipments are here, and all this will leverage on the, on the ICT system with the Atuturas and the Samidos and other many artists that are in this county. We have a plan of uh, creating uh, more than nine million jobs, uh, which actually required uh, from uh, 2015 to 2025. So, what does that mean? So, it means all sectors have to uh, contribute to this. You know, uh, to this ways of creating uh, jobs. Today, it is much faster for the authority to deal with complaints from consumers in Nyandarwa County, such as the quality of service, among other things. They are now able to respond promptly to such complaints. According to the report of CA, 61.5% of the population in Nyandarwa County has mobile phones. The cost of connectivity in this country, I believe it can be reduced. Since most of us have joined it is possible to reduce the cost of, of uh, communications, whether between Safaricom or Airtel or the other systems that have come in. There are some programs that are very shameful when working with our children. Okay. What measures have you taken on that? We are not supposed to air content that is not friendly or the way you call it, shameful content that will actually affect the morals of our children. Communications Authority of Kenya is the entity that has the authority to regulate content both in TV and radio. And uh, we have come up with something called programming code. The programming code stipulates the star broadcasting standards in the country. So um, the broadcasters have something called watershed period. 
the time between 8 a.m. in the morning to 10 p.m. in which they need to broadcast something that is for general viewing. The authority is keen to ensure that consumers enjoy the benefits of the expansion of ICT networks and services in Kenya. They're making every effort on their part to increase the penetration of services in the whole country. We believe that a digitally transformed nation is the highway to the realization of SDGs here in Kenya. And this is why the theme for this year's County ICT Forum is themed leveraging on ICTs for social economic empowerment in Nyandarwa. We went ahead to develop a policy on child online policy, uh, child online protection, and uh, thanks to the CA, with the help of CA, they were able to bring in other service providers. And actually, it has been agreed across the board that all service providers are going to be very keen on the content that is being pushed uh, to the end user or to the consumer. Infrastructure development, literacy, are some of the biggest factors affecting success of ICT. The stakeholders in the ICT sector should come together to invest infrastructure and put in place programs that will equip young people with ICT skills, which they can use to sustain themselves in the long run. Further, there is urgent need to identify and exploit the special need capacity in the county so as to realize the special benefits in the application of ICTs. For example, the need to market agricultural produce in the county, in particular potatoes and milk. There is something that should be made strategic that you should always reserve a certain capacity on all these fibers so that it's not 100% commercialized. When you leave some space, some percentage for public interest, it ensures it cannot be seized and it will never serve public interest. The population coverage of 2G services in Nyandara County stands at 99.7% while that of 3G is at 66.1%. However, even as they engage in all these economic activities, they are equally alive to the fact that they are now in an emerging new digital age which is equally dynamic. As we focus on the realization of Vision 2030 and the Big Four agenda, the uptake of 4G and other advanced mobile services are critical, even amidst the challenge of limited frequency spectrum. We encourage operators to evolve their existing services through use of new and robust technologies using their already existing frequency assignments. We have students who normally do ICT uh, in those VTC institutions. So my question is, how do they help them when it comes to places like attachment? The National Industrial Training Authority actually has the mandate of attaching all students from certificate level, diploma, and university. They attach students across the country to different industries, to different companies, and uh, right now I think it's actually online. Nyandara being predominantly an agricultural area, farmers in the region can leverage on ICT to deal with the challenges of climate change, which is a key barrier to resilient food production. I would encourage farmers here in Nyandarwa to take advantage of ICT applications and services to increase the value of their produce. The digital space that the ICT has actually brought about has created a lot of opportunities for young people to be able to um, uh, create jobs for themselves and even through other investors. And I think one of the examples is the digital broadcasting uh, that the authority introduced some few years back. Mm. It has opened space for uh, content cre creation that actually the young people can actually uh, mm. participate in and be able to create sure. content sure. and sure. actually get uh, jobs for, for themselves. Nyandara County is one of the beneficiary counties in our education broadband to school project in complement to other government projects. Nyandara County now offers free internet to public primary schools, secondary schools, through a project implemented in partnership with Air Networks Kenya Limited. In schools, we get a wireless router and 8 GB data every month free of charge. And these are seriousness with which we, we have approached the use of ICT in this county. Our young people uh, have great potential. 
the fact is our children's jobs do not exist. The, ch the jobs that our children will do, even in five years, do not exist. So if we don't invest in research, we don't invest in emerging trends, and then teach our children in how to harness technology, how to look at things like robotics, AI, machine learning, then we are not even utilizing the infrastructure and we are not empowering them enough to be launched into the marketplace. So I think there's a lot to be done. It, we just need to shift our minds a little. Uh, instead of asking the government to give us jobs, we need to tell them where the market is going and create those jobs for We want to make sure that this area is totally connected. Uh, we need, of course, to make sure that uh, you people can talk to each other through the phones, through all means that are possible uh, in the, today's age. This is days are gone when uh, we were calling each other through landlines and so on. And number two, we also want to move further and ensure that uh, we have broadband to schools, uh, which will make things much better for everyone. Uh, we as communications authority, it is our responsibility to provide even quality of service. It is our responsibility to make sure that uh, we are moving in line with what is happening in other countries as we develop ICT.